Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan here with a quick video on my painted pieces for the French. So you can see here are most of the pieces. I have a few out on the board right now. I'm in the middle of a game. But uh, the last couple weeks I've been doing a lot of painting. And this was another nation that I had finished. And I'm really, really um, happy with the results. They look awesome on my table. Um, and uh, I'll just kind of... Uh, show you all, all the uh, the pieces here a um, little bit later after I show you the pieces I'll show you the paints that I used so if you've already you don't want to see that you can drop off so uh, anyway let's just uh, start from the uh, from the bottom here so I have this uh, this is a destroyer I bought it at uh, HPG you know I, I wanted to have different uh, pieces and um, instead of the out-of-the-box ones, you know, and this really looked nice. Um, you, I use the uh, the French blue paint like uh, most people do now uh, with their color schemes, and then I used a, uh, a wash, a quick shade wash by Army Painter uh, to create that weathered look. Um, here's a cruiser that I got from HBG as well. Um, the detail on these are really nice. And with that wash, man, it just really brings out the uh, the dirtiness. I like it. Um, it just it really brings out uh, you know nice uh, beat up details that I like to have on my on my with my setup. So here's the uh, here's that cruiser. Um, I use the uh, the out of the box um, uh, Liberty um, transport. Uh, since they don't really use any, I just figured I'd just use what 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 came uh, with the out of the box. I'm not going to really invest too much money money in the into the French, but uh, that it still looks uh, still looks nice. Um, here's a AAA. Got these from HBG. Really like how that uh, just the details. This is you know for those who you know don't haven't done the wash or they haven't done this weathered look man I, I i'd really challenge you to do it because uh the reward is is just great um you know it's just uh, just really looks uh, really nice um i if you have uh if you've been following along i i uh, the the color schemes that i'm going for is that i want to you know i want to match uh basically the same colors as everybody else um, and then do some techniques uh, slightly different, right? I like to be a little bit different. Um, you know, I watched a lot of videos from uh, other experts out there, and I really took the best of uh, all worlds, and I, I wanted to bring that into my pieces. And, you know, one thing that I didn't want to uh, do is uh, to have a lot of, uh, I guess, realism with uh, the color scheme and a lot of different colors and I just find it sometimes, uh, for me anyway, it's hard to distinguish which unit is, uh, you know, with which country and things like that. Um, so, but what I did want to do is um, go ahead and add an additional color where it makes sense. Like you can see here, the uh, the tires. Um, I used a, uh, um, just some paint that I got at a hobby store. It's a, it's a very, very, very dark brown instead of black. And um, so anyway, it just kind of gives it a little something extra. Um, here's the out of the box uh, tank. Um, again, I didn't want to invest too much money in them yet. I've already dumped enough uh, into this uh, setup that I have here, but it did come out really nice though. And then we get into the infantry. Um, it really brings out the details really nice and uh, for those of you following along you know I do I do magnetize all my pieces so everything uh, snaps to the table um, you know you can see the magnet in the bottom sometimes they're different magnets you got that uh, rectangular one underneath the uh, 
or sometimes I drill a hole or whatever. And then here are the planes. So I'll go ahead and show you this one here. Yeah, you can see my new flight stands. I, I need to paint those though. I wanna paint these white uh, bases, either this kind of grayish color or the, uh, the land color, um, just to kind of hide, hide that area. All right, so I hope you like those pieces. Um, I really do. Um, so for those who don't want to uh, see the paints I use and things like that, you can drop off. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and I'll probably see you uh, next time. Uh, for those who want to stick around, I'll, I'll kind of show you the, uh, the paints I used and uh, all that. So um, first thing I did was uh, I used this gray primer um, from uh, Rust-Oleum. It's a flat gray. Most people use that for their German pieces as their base. Um, once that was dried, then I would use this uh, French blue satin um, paint. And uh, then once that dried, then if there were any details that I wanted to paint in, um, like, for example, that artillery, I would use this, uh, in this example, it's just a, it's really, really dark brown, so it's not black, you know. Uh, I wanted to kind of bring in a little realism, you know, the, the tires aren't black when they're in battle, they're going to be dirty and things like that. Um, then, uh, once that um, dried, then I used this uh, Ar uh, Quick Shade Strong Tone from Army Painter. Um, where I got this idea was from the Plastic Commando. Um, again, if you haven't uh, seen his his pieces, you really need to go there. Um, I, uh, you know, others have used that uh, the Sire Blood technique with the poly, or the Honey Satin Poly Shade. Um, you know, that really looks good. You know, I played with uh, some of Sire's pieces. I mean, they really do look good. Um, I just didn't like the process uh, that, you know, having to dip and then it just really looked to me, uh, personally, it was just kind of messy. So I just elected that I wanted to paint that on with a brush. So I just took a brush, you know, a small brush here, and put some, um, put some uh, quick shade in one of these uh, uh, dimples there. And then I would uh, thin it down. What you don't want to do is, you know, it does say that you can dip the pieces in this, but it's just, it, be too uh, messy you know you got to shake it off and there's gonna be uh, stuff flying everywhere um, but so I what I would do is I put a little bit of quick shade maybe 10 10 drops 15 drops and then I would thin it down with this turpentine it's an odorless turpentine and I put about you know three to five drops depending um, you know, after a while you'll get to know the uh, the consistency you need uh, to basically paint it on when you paint it on it just goes on real easy you just paint it all over it um, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be an expert or anything like that. And then, uh, uh, let it uh, dry just for, I don't know, a minute or two. And then you can start uh, brushing out where the quick shade has settled in into some of the grooves where you don't want it to be really heavily, um, shaded. So you can just kind of wipe that out and then that's it. You just let it dry. And then, uh, after it's dried, then, uh, what I did was I use this, <clears throat> Uh, Anti-Shine um, Matte Varnish Spray from Army Painter. Um, this is a little pricey, but it really uh, it, it really does uh, make make them look nice. It it actually when the uh, quick shade dries, it it'll dry shining, and all your pieces will be shiny. Um, so what that uh, Anti-Shine Matte Varnish will do is it'll it'll flatten everything out. And it just uh, gives it a matte, uh, you know, th there's no shine. So it just cuts that out and uh, it just makes it all look flat. And um, I don't know, it's just, it, everything just, to me, it just uh, really, really looks nice. You know, it, it does It does take, uh, you know, it is a process, right? Um, for those, who, you know, who have painted and they, you know, right? Um, I'm, I'm starting off small, so I've started with the small countries and I'm gonna work my way up into the uh, to the US, UK and Japan world. Um, but that, that'll be uh, coming up in the next uh, week or so. Um, 
So anyway, well, I hope you uh, like this video and hope you like my pieces. Uh, leave me a comment, uh, thumbs up or something. Let me know, uh, thumbs down even if you don't like them. <laughs> but tell me why you don't like them. Um, but other than that, I'll, uh, I'll be coming out with other videos uh, soon showing you um, uh, other countries that I've accomplished. All right, until then, take care.